maker, miracle worker, promise keep light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. Hey everybody, Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. This song goes out to uh, all those who voted, so I send out a message to those on the email list and, uh, and you can vote for the next song so make sure you're part of that you can look below the video in the description sign up for the email list you also can also get the cheat sheets there which we'll be using in this lesson but let's start off in prayer god we just welcome you into this lesson today let's worship you in everything we do holy name. Amen. All right. So this is Waymaker by Leland and Key of E. And uh, you might want to grab those cheat sheets. Uh, you can find them below. Uh, we'll look on Key of E for that. See the chord, different chord shapes we're playing. Cool thing about this song is it's going to be repeating basically one chord progression the whole thing. There'll be one little alteration uh, in a tag. Uh, so let's get down these chords first. A, we'll play A, C, sharp, and E, the right hand. And you can play A and E in the bass. If you want to, you can even just do uh, A notes like this, two A's, octave. So get that down. Then we'll go to an E chord, like this. So you'll notice, and that's the great thing about the cheat sheets, is it shows you how to kind of connect chords together, which is what makes you sound good as a player. Uh, so E, G sharp, B. And all that's going on here is a regular E chord's like this. E, G sharp, B. We're just putting that in a different order. E, G sharp, B. It's called an inversion. So it's going to be able to keep everything close together. All right, that's the E chord. And if you need to pause as we're going through these, you can do that. Um, for our B sus, normally we go down, go down to a B chord like this. B, D sharp, and F sharp. But for the sus you move up whatever your middle note is of the chord, which is this one, uh, like of the regular chord, B, D sharp, F sharp, you move that up to get to that sus chord, sus four. So this is what it'll be. Get that down. And of course, be playing like this with your hands out. Don't, don't do what I'm doing. I love you. All right. And then uh, C sharp minor. C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp's in the bass. And that's going to be it besides one little bass note change. So get those down, uh, pause the video for a second, or go back and rewatch that first part. M make little notes on a sheet of paper or whatever, um, and then uh, you'll be able to play through the whole song. But if you can't, just go A, E, B, sus, C sharp minor then you're not going to be able to play through this with me. All right? So first, I think we might just start off by holding out the chord. And you might notice sometimes I put down this note with the A chord. It just makes it an A2 uh, um, or an A add 9. <clears throat> you can do that if you want. Sounds nice. Very common in worship music. So we're going to hold these out at first. You're in verse 1. You are here Moving in now Midst. So after R is when we change to the E chord. In our midst, I worship you to our B. So right after you, worship you. Two, three, I worship you. And then the C sharp minor lands after you. So just notice where the chord is landing a lot. In this song, a lot of it's after Certain words are right in between uh, certain things. And then continuing through the verse one, and we'll sing through this together here in a second. You are here working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. Right, and then in the song, it repeats it. So let's do that in time. I'll count one, two, three, and start singing You Are Here. And then we'll land on the A chord. You are here, moving in our midst. I 
worship you. Two, three, I worship you. Two, three, you are here. Two, working in this place. I worship you. Two, three, I worship you. Then we're to the chorus. Same chord progression, stand on the A, E, B, sus to C sharp minor. You are way maker, miracle. So let's get a little rhythm going here. If you want to keep holding out until you build through the song, you can. But let's get a little rhythm going. So just going to hold out in the left hand, play um, chords, play rhythm with the right hand. So I'll give you four. One, two, three. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper. Light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Okay, this is your first time singing and playing together. It's going to take a little time to get down. But get maybe get a uh, you know one little line at a time. Get to where you can go. Waymaker, miracle worker. Kind of see what lines up with the lyrics and with the uh, with the rhythm of your right hand, and then get the next part in and the next part. And you'll you'll build it all up where you can uh, be singing it and praying it. So that's how the uh, the chorus feels. Now, uh, verse two and three, just like verse one, same progression. Uh, so let me just play through verse two. Um, and at the end of this, we'll play through the whole thing together. But we'll play through two just so you can kind of hear it. I'll give you three. One, two, three. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. Worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. And it goes to verse three. You are here. All right. So you should be able to figure that out once you're kind of flowing with this. Um, so those are kind of two parts of the song: the verses, the chorus. The part that's different is when you get to uh, the tag after the chorus. This is who you are. This, sorry, that. That is who you are. And then it's going to play the A, who you are. That is who you are. And you have this E slash G sharp. So the right hand stays the same because it's E, but anything after the slash is talking to your bass player in the piano, your left hand, your bass player at least in worship music. So you can play a single uh, G sharp here and an E here or double G sharps down in the bass, whatever you want to do. Uh, sometimes I reserve, you know, the lower for if I want the song to really build who you, are. you know, I'll play kind of lower. That's way down, but so use it as dynamics, louder, softer, build, not building, whatever you want to do. That's the only difference. So let me play through the tag. Uh, it would come in like this, um, right at the end of the chorus. My God, that is who you are. 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 And then you can do a regular B here if you want to. So instead of doing this B sus, you do a regular B there. That is who you are. 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 All right. So that's kind of the third part of the song. And then the last part you need to get down before we can play together is the bridge. And again, same chord progression. A, E, B, sus, C sharp minor. So here's the bridge. Two, three, four. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Repeat. Even when I don't see it, you're working. 
Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Never stop. And that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to, you can do an instrumental type part. I know the recording of this song is like eight or nine minutes long. That's like the length of worship songs these days, like eight, nine, ten minutes. Um, so, but you just you would follow that same progression if you're doing an instrumental, the A E B sus and uh, C sharp minor. Cool. So let's show you now the melody or the intro uh, for the song. Probably have your hand in this normal E position, like you're already playing. But we're gonna play C. Uh, sorry, G sharp, B, C sharp. You are here, and you'll land on the A chord. You are here, and more worry about the bass. You. And that's kind of what they do on the recording. It's just. C sharp B, C sharp B, G sharp. Two. Then I worship, I worship. I know it's not the exact melody, but this is what they're what they're doing, and they're just uh, creating a nice little intro for the song. So E B E F sharp, and then. I worship you, E, G sharp, E, C sharp. And you're just letting that bass, you might even um, play a rhythm with the bass if you want to, but it's not necessary because typically this intro would be more chill, uh, maybe some pads going behind it. So let me go super slow just in case you're like, I missed all of that. It'll be one, two, three, and four, and one, two, do, 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 one, two, three, do, da, do, da, one, two, three, boom, ba, 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 one, two, three, boom, ba, ba. That's all I'm going to do. So go back and watch it. Work through uh, that movement and it'll sound real pretty good for you. Keep going. One more thing I want to show you before we play through this is, uh, and you'll see this in the, the cheat sheets. Again, a description below. Email list. And you can also vote for the next songs coming up. Through that, when I send out messages, uh, it's the Going Pro. Look at the bottom of the page, those cheat sheets. Show something called a pentatonic scale. It's really great for... Uh, doing extra stuff within the song. So uh, maybe it's just piano or, or maybe uh, there's some space between all the guitars and stuff where you can do something called a fill. So in other words, maybe uh, you're just, you are here moving in this place. I worship you. I worship you. In that pretty stuff. All it is, is basically two shapes that I'm doing here. E, F sharp, G sharp, B. Call this shape one, and your thumb is on E. Shape two is where your pinky's on E, and you play B and C sharp. So a lot of it comes where the pinky's staying in, in one place. And same thing up here, pinky stays in one place. and you're moving stuff around. So it's something you have to mess, uh, mess around with. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but just start working those two shapes and leaving that pinky in one spot and uh, messing around in between uh, chords, in between lyrics is where you want to do it. You don't want to play that over someone singing, you are here, right? That's not going to work. Do it in between lyrics, you are here. 
moving in our midst worship you all right and some of that was i'm like breaking up those shapes it's cool stuff anyway if you're interested in like really going deep in that, uh, my Piano Chops site, pianochops.com, I have a uh, worship path that just shows you all this cool things that I do. So you can check that out. All right, so that's the going pro on the cheat sheets. Now it's time to sing and pray. That's right, sing and pray. I want you to pray, worship with me uh, through this song. From the intro all the way. Uh, we won't play the eight minute version, but we will uh, play through this. All right, let's do that piano intro. I'll give you one, two, three. One, two, three. stop working you never stop you never stop working even when i don't see it you're working 
Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, even when I, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, waymaker. You are waymaker. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Waymaker, waymaker, miracle worker, promise keep, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. That is who you are, Tad. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. You can end on an A. All right, guys. God bless y'all. We had a good lesson. Uh, the, the main song, normal song, you know, has a lot more repeats and whatnot. But I just wanted to make sure you got the flow of how to go in and out of different things for that. Worship well. Give your heart all the way to it and lead people with the way that you live your lives. God bless you. Wade McNutt here with Piano Meditation. We will talk to you later. Bye-bye.